Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about the AAA criteria for determining similarity of triangles. Today, in this video, we will look at some interesting examples based on it. In the given figure, show that triangles XYZ and DEF are similar to each other. What can you say by looking at the figure? You can see in the figure that the corresponding angles, angle ZXY and FDE, and angles YZX and EFD are equal. Can we prove the similarity of triangles with the help of these two angles? No. For doing this, we need to know the third angle or the corresponding sides of the triangle. Can we find any other measurement of this triangle? In the given figure, it's difficult to determine the length of the sides. But we can find the measurement of the third angle. Can you tell how? We know that the sum of all the internal angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. With the help of this, we can find the measurement of the third angle. Here, we see that the corresponding angles of the triangle XYZ and DEF are equal. That is, by AAA criteria, triangles XYZ and DEF are similar. Can we solve this by any other method? If we observe this example, then we will see that in two triangles, if any two corresponding angles are the same, then their third corresponding angle would also be the same. Hence, we can conclude that two triangles are similar if they have two corresponding angles that are congruent or equal in measure. We call this the AA criteria for similarity of triangles. We can test this with the help of any other pair of triangles. In today's video, we looked at an example based on the AAA criteria of similarity of triangles and also studied the AA criteria.